Hello, my name is Connie Skaggs, and I am an independent advisor for Creative Memories. And I have a demo that I wanted to do, and I want to spotlight our 12 inch trimmer today. And so uh, I'm also going to be using one of the uh, border maker punches. No, nope, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, the border punch, um, and it's the new leafy vine. So, um, I won't probably demo that one, but I am going to do a lot, you know, show you some things about the trimmer. So I'm going to change my camera. And so this video will be from my YouTube channel. And so, and I do ask that you please uh, subscribe. And if you uh, do not have a Creative Memories uh, advisor, I'd be glad to service you um, with product. My website will be on the link. It'll be typed in. So um, still just kind of getting new and, and used to this. So I appreciate your um, dedication to watching our videos. So, so change it a little bit. And so this is my workspace. I use two of the uh, Creative Memory mats because I want to do a two page spread. And of course this helps me line everything up. And so I actually uh, love working with a two, two mats. I actually put um, duct tape on the back of two of them together and of course the one thing that you can do with these is because once you get ready you just fold it in half and it goes down in your back so you can see I just have the tape on and it goes so and then that just ends up being exactly where I need it now let me go over a couple things on our 12 inch trimmer the 12 inch trimmer is um it's got the housing, you know, and holder. Uh, it has a mat here, which once it, you've got a one, two, three, and four. And once it gets, starts to get these grooves in it, uh, you take it out and you turn it over. And of course, I've used up one and two, and I'm ready to go to number three. And this first um, on here, there's two cut lines, there's two lines. And the first line is where your blade cuts. The next one is like a eighth of an inch if you need to line something up and cut it there, very small. And so that's how far those are apart. And so we use them actually for, um, you know, extra measurements too. So, um, but anyway, whenever I'm going to score something or whatever, I want that to be really smooth and uh, until I cut in it. Now our housing that holds the blade, it holds it in here. And the blade is down inside. You can't you can't touch it and, and things like that. So it's not this is what causes the housing pushes this down when we put weight on it. And that's what pushes the blade down. And so it goes in there very simply and that snaps. Now on the side here you've got this little white mark. And um, I'm trying to let my camera focus in and get the lighting right. But there is the little white line. And that is from that line to the end is one inch. And so anytime you want to start something, you can do it from the one inch mark. I know I've done a video recently on cutting mats and I told about those little marks. But I don't know that I told you a lot about our trimmer. And so it also has a guide that cuts out, it'll go out to 16 inches, actually. It's got a little foot underneath it that helps balance it. But for those that cuts that you want to be a little longer, you need this arm turned out. And this way, then you can have a straight cut. Underneath on the back, this holds an extra mat so that you always have one extra with you. This holds our different blades. And so those you just, um, you know, you just go ahead and and they just slide back in and so and these are the blades that we have right now we have a, a stamping blade a perforated blade a wave a scallop victorian decal and a scoring blade and of course our straight blade and so today what i want to do and um, i've got a technique that i'm going to show you and it was showed to me by um my upline, but um, you know, she never minds for me to share um, on our videos. And so you take two pieces that are alike 
and has great contrast on the back. And so this really has contrast when you put it against it. Okay, and so normally, um, trying to think what I want to cut. If you have a directional paper, you would want these to be facing each other inside before you do the cutting. Because we're going to actually cut these together, okay? And so what we're going to do is um, we're going to cut um, a corner off and another corner off. And then the other pieces will be put in place. But because this is not directional, it doesn't matter as much. And so this is our 45 degree angle. And what we're doing is putting this in all the way over to the 45 degree and down to where the seven is. And the main thing you need to watch is that you want to be sure uh, that it stays there and we'll, and you could pick another number. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and do that. We'll do go ahead and pick six and a half this time. I don't really call it the seven though. Well, I could so we'll go ahead with the six and a half. And I have another one that I'll show you in a bit. And so then you can have three with it. And while you've got these triangles, well, we'll just put them aside for a moment. And then the other one is we're going to cut this other corner. So if you want to flip it, you can do that. And so it looks longer. And so we've got one of these this way. Just line it up again. Remember, we went to six and a half uh, on the line, but we kept it on our 45 degree because that's going to be necessary. Okay. And so then you just push that. And so then you've got two triangles and two other triangles, and then you've got this long piece. Okay. You put that aside for right now. On these, we're going to go ahead and cut. Um, we could cut a one inch or one and that quarter or one and a half. And so um, I think we'll go ahead and cut it at the one and a half and on our, and we'll want to do it toward the inside because um, this first bold line right here, this bold line is at the one inch. And so each one of these are a quarter inch. So like to here, right here, from our cut line to this first line is a half inch, and then it's three-fourths, and then it's an inch. The inches are always in bold. And then every main line is quarter inch. And so we need to go over two. You can call them railroad tracks or whatever you want to call them, but they, you want to go from this first one, second, and you want over. And this flat part is what we're going to line up, but we also need to still stay on the 45 degree. And we're cutting both of them at the same time. So um, I think I'm just going to do it on over. And I have to always be sure that I'm straight on my 45 degree. And I want to be straight on that line too. So there's those two. Then we're going to do the other ones. This is kind of a pattern that you can use over and over because I'll show you how that you can turn it and make different ones. Remember, we're going to do this one on the 45 degree and we're going to go to the one and a half mark. I hope everybody's doing good today. Yeah, that about slipped on me a little bit. I didn't know that. So then we've got these. That's all we're going to need our trimmer for. But um, our trimmer also has the um, measurements down the side. It's got the measurements across the top. And so it's very versatile for our trimmer. All right, I'll build this on two. Um, 12 by 12 cardstone that I have here. And you could build this right straight on your pages. And so um, it doesn't matter. You know which way you want to use it. But, um, and this is going to be covered up. So it doesn't matter. You could even use the index sheet. 
I'm using the paper from the blue, um, Capri Blue. It's from our new Vivid uh, Melodies paper. So now I'm going to probably just go this way. And you have to kind of decide which side you want to use. And so on this one, I think I am going to use the, the blue as my base and not the floral. And so this is where they would go. But like this one, do your floral as your accent piece. So it's kind of laying this out first instead of gluing it all down because I'm going to be able to see what I'm doing. And it's kind of like a puzzle piece. You just put these pieces together. And there is your basic page. But if I wanted to turn this, I could. Um, let's say that I need to turn it. Oh no, the seven inch would have been work better. So but anyway, we have to turn this one too. But you can make it to where you've got your your V is at the bottom, or you know, as far as this goes, makes it to where it's coming uh, at the top or the bottom. Very easy page. And you know, if you wanted to, and let's, look, let's see what it would look like if we turned it over, just so you could tell. You know, it's according to what you're doing, you know, but once you put your pictures on it, it, it really doesn't matter. And you have a few mats and things. So this would be what it would be if you'd use the lighter color. And this is your accent. I really like the blue and things, um, and especially if I want to use, um, say, some white mats, you know, I like that. And, and so, have a little journal box, and let me have one of these wonderful little floral items that you can put with it, you know. I'm going top. I mean, it's a lot of fun, fun stuff here. This is still from the embellishments, so I'll turn this back over. So I do prefer it the other way. And you'll have to make a note in the comments. Let me know how, which side that you like the best, and if you're going to try this. So I sure I do love it. This one you could actually put another um, put a, a picture in there, um, or you could have a little box under a circle underneath that. Here's a little journal box, um, fun stuff. Um, nice little little leaf and little saying. Maybe that you could put with this one right now. Um, some memories. This would this would work. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, also, I had done one of the um, I've done a couple punches with our, and this is with the parakeet shimmer, and so I used this with was our new um, leafy vine, and of course on these punches. There is a little black line right there and there. That's it's according to whether you're left-handed, right-handed, whether you punch, punch it one way or the other. But it's uh, that's your starting line, and so you just see there and put your paper inside, and then have it go all the way up against this little bar here at the back. And so when it butts up against that, that's where you, then you punch. And of course, then you take it down and you go ahead and 
line it up to where this blue, uh, everything blue would um, cover. And so um, just to show you like, see, this would be where that would be to cover up. And so you keep moving along and that's how you make these punches. So I'm gonna do another day and show you punches. So, but I did punch out a couple of these because of the greenery that's in here and this matches so well. So I thought, well, you know, you can always, even if this is a different style or whatever, but let's say that you wanted to um, just do those and maybe this, over here, but um, I, I punched out two of these, and so maybe I want to lay both of them there, or maybe I want to make one shorter than the other, you know, or maybe I want one on the other side. So I kind of like it over on the other side. One of these here. And like I say, I just pulled pieces together and things, and so, um, you know, it's... Uh, Pretty, pretty awesome. You just kind of get some of these and put them together and see which what works for you. And um, it's just kind of neat. And so, you know. But I like that. And um, so I wanted to show you a couple others that I made earlier today. And I used an order pack that we had and it's called uh, heart to help and it was um, part of the and the profits that went from that uh, the company actually sent to Ukraine because they made it with the um, yellow and blue colors excuse me sorry I dropped something and so this is the one I made I done a different border and I put it down the sides. I forgot that I didn't glue this one on. I had all my little squares. Um, foam squares on the back of this that I had, I had fussy cut out some uh, flowers out of the heart to help paper that I had a little scrap left that had these little flowers. And I just wanted something extra to go here, so. And I wanted to pop, pop that up a little bit so you could see it gives it some dimension. This one I scored with the scoring blade. So I've got a journal box here and I put a little flower there. Just uh, I, These are four by six mats. And so it's easy to see that uh, you can get uh, some pictures on here. This, this is a four and a half by four and a half. I cut this circle over here out of this. And I just put a white mat behind it. And so somebody that wants to cut out, you want to cut out a picture, you can cut out a, a, a picture and it'll place it there. And this is on a repositional tape. So you just lift that up a little bit to get your picture in there. And your picture all better be matted because by the time you cut it with the, um, you know, the about a four inch square, then that would uh, fit inside there. So just like, let me see. There's a options uh, in doing this design. You can do it, like I said. This was directional, so I had to be sure that I was matching them up the way I needed, so I had to do them facing each other. And it would come out pretty good, so I was very pleased with the way that this would come out too. So I appreciate um, you watching my video today. Like I said, I'm Connie Skaggs from uh, Charleston, right out of Charleston, South Carolina, uh, as an independent uh, creative memories advisor and please uh, subscribe to my youtube show your friends and um, let me know if i can be of any service to you as far as uh, if you need a consultant or an advisor uh, you can visit my website and order things from there however you um, you know for scrapbooking our tools um, are just hands down we really they are uh, very good and so um, we just appreciate it very much. So I hope that you have a, um, have a good day, have a good weekend. And I will hopefully see you next week. I'm trying to do a video each week now. So, um, but I appreciate it. And like I said, uh, if you even, um, if you do not have an advisor or you want to be an advisor and join my team, 
um, just uh, reach out to me. I would appreciate it very much. Thank you so much.